Hi, I'm Marco with Exercise TV. I put together a 20 minute upper body workout. It's gonna challenge your chest, shoulders, arms, and abs. The only thing you need before we get started is a pair of dumbbells somewhere between eight to 20 pounds and two chairs. So if you have that and you're ready, let's get to it. First exercise is a dumbbell curl for our biceps. Watch your feet shoulder width, knees slightly bent, arms to your side. Now I want you to curl the weight up and back down. Two things I want you to keep in mind to keep the tension on the bicep. I want your elbow to stay to your side, so I don't want you to lift the shoulder forward. Keep the elbow to your side. Second thing I want you to do is keep your wrists perfectly straight. So when you curl the weight up, don't flex the wrist. Keep it straight. Good. <sighs> Exhale as you curl, feel that bicep heat up. If you're not struggling to do another rep by the end of this minute, I want you to pick up a heavier weight the next time, okay? Good. <sighs> Exhale and curl. Give me six more. <sighs> Five. Four. Good. Three. Keep the abs tight. Two. And one. Good. Set the weights down. We're going to take it into a push-up position. Want your hands just outside shoulder width. Feet together, abs tight. I want you to take your chest right down between the hands and press up. Good, again, down and press. I want you to feel this in your chest, shoulders, and your tricep. Good, exhale as you press. Your body stays parallel to the ground the entire time. Good. Now to increase tension on your chest, I want you to squeeze the hands together as you press up. So push the hands inward toward the middle of your body. You'll feel the chest, all the fibers heat up and work even harder. Good. And press. Give me five more. Three, good, come on. Two, and one, good. Pick up a dumbbell, I want you to lie down on the floor. Dumbbells right above the forehead, knees in. Now from here, I want you to keep the abs tight. I want you to kick the feet out, reach the hands back, and bring the knees and elbows together and crunch. Again, exhale and kick, and crunch. You wanna keep the abs tight when you kick the legs out. So what I want you to focus on, feel like your low back, your spine is pressing into the floor. It's gonna come up a little bit Really try to keep it pressed down as much as you can. Good. Stay braced the whole time. Exhale and crunch. Give me five more of these. Good. Keep those abs tight. Three more. Two more. Last one. And crunch. Go ahead and sit up, pick up your other dumbbell. We're gonna go back into a bicep curl. This time I want you to take the arms up to 90 degree flexion right here. Knees are bent. You're gonna let one side drop down, bring it back up, now the other side. Good. We're adding an isometric component to this movement. When one side is lifting, we're holding that contraction with the other side. It's good to incorporate isometric movements. It gives us an unaccustomed approach, which makes our workout even harder. <sighs> Exhale every time you curl. <sighs> That's it. Good, feel the biceps burn. Remember, if you can do another rep by the end of this, I want you to pick up a heavier weight. The advantage to do it one side at a time is your mind gets to focus on those muscle fibers in that one muscle, so it makes you even stronger. Good, feel this. Give me three more. Two more. That's it. Good, last one. And let's take it down to a push-up. This time I want you to put your back feet on the chair. Make sure you have a sturdy chair that can hold your weight. So the back feet are up. Now notice, my body still is in a straight line, okay? I'm not arched. From here, I want you to bring your chest down to the floor and press. Good. 
Now by elevating our feet, we're putting more resistance on our hands. So we're working the chest, shoulders, and triceps even more. That's it. We're emphasizing a little bit more in the upper fibers of the chest because of this angle. Now if you can't do a whole minute, what I want you to do is stop and count to five and then start back up. Don't stop and wait out this whole minute. I'll give you five second rest only. Exhale and press, good. The chest goes between the hands, not the chin. Give me four more, come on. Four, three, all the way down. Two, good. One, take it back to the mat. Hold your dumbbell above your forehead. This time I want you to keep the abs tight. You're gonna kick the legs out. Keeping the legs straight and elbows straight, I want you to lift, 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 and crunch. And then return again. Kick them out, lift, and crunch. By keeping the legs straight, we're adding resistance to the abs. It's a lot harder. Now if you feel any pain in the low back, I want you to do the first way, which is keeping the knees bent, like this. Okay, if there's no low back pain, keep the knees straight and lift. Good. Four more. That's it. Abs stay tight, low back push to the floor. Two more. Last one. Good, let's take it up one more time. Remember, if the weight was too light last time, I want you to go up. Let's take it back up. Let's hold that 90 degree position and let one side drop and the other side. Now our biceps has had two minutes of recovery. When you're working strength, you wanna give your muscle between a minute 30 to two minutes of recovery. If you're going more for endurance, we'll shoot for 30 seconds to one minute. Good. Keep those elbows to your side, shoulders stay stabilized, and the wrists straight. That's it. Feeling start to burn. Because we're circuit training, we are keeping our heart rate up, so we are doing cardio here. You don't have to go on the treadmill or the bike to do cardio. You can do it with weight training. You're actually killing two birds with one stone. Good, do three more. Two, last one, and one. Good, set the weights down. Let's take our push-up position, feet elevated, back straight. Now let's take it down and press. Now once you walk your hands in close, take it down again and press. Walk them back out and press. Now by walking our hands in, we're working more tricep, shoulder, okay? Walking them out, we're working more chest. As Soon as my hands come off the ground, I challenge my balance and my stability, which gives me a lot of core and ab work. Good, give me four more of these. Four, three, come on guys. Come on, two, last one, press. Good, let's take it to the mat. Dumbbell right above the forehead. Let's combine the two movements. Let's kick it out and bring the knees in and crunch. Kick the legs out, keep the knees straight. Lift, 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 and return again. Kick them out and crunch. Kick it out, knees straight, lift. When you work your abs hard, give them a day to recover. It's just as important to recover as it is to break down a muscle. So I like to give my abs at least one day of rest before I work them again. Give me two more of these. Last one. Good, let's take it back up. Pick up your dumbbell. Okay, now we're gonna take it into our shoulder exercise. I want you to lean forward just about 15 degrees with your left arm, I want you to take it out 
and back down. Now let's do the other side and lift. Good. Notice when you lift one side, the other side is rested on your thigh. This serves as an anchor and balances your body so you can lift heavier weight. Good. Work in the lateral part of the shoulder right now. That's why we're tilted forward 15 degrees. It's easier to keep the shoulder blades down when we lift one side at a time. This is better for your neck. It takes stress off the traps and your neck. Good. Good, give me five more here. Exhale when you lift. Keep those abs tight the entire time. Three more. Good, two more. Last one. And lift. Good, keep your dumbbells, you're gonna take it down to the chair. Now this time what I want you to do, sit at the edge, I want you to lean back 45 degrees. Let your elbows swing behind your body. Now notice I'm in this position here. Now from here I want you to curl and keep your thumbs pointing straight up. Okay, this is a neutral position with the wrist. Good. This works more of the forearm and outer bicep. By having our elbows back, we put the bicep in the lengthened position at the beginning of this movement, which changes the exercise completely. Anytime you give your body something different, it's good because your body isn't used to it, so you get a better result. Good. Keep those elbows back the whole time. You really feel this in the bicep, outside part. Give me six more. Five. Four. Three. Abs stay tight. Two. And one. Good. Set the bike, set the dumbbells down. Once you take your body off the chair, we're gonna go into a dip. Now from here, I want you to bring your body straight down and you're gonna press up. Good. Shoulders back, elbows in. Down and press. Now notice when I press, I travel slightly forward with my body. This puts more tension on the tricep and a little less on the shoulder. So you push forward just slightly, good. <sighs> Having my legs on the floor here provide a spot for me. So if I can't make the whole minute, my legs will help me to do the last four reps. <sighs> good. <sighs> Keep this pace nice and slow. I want you to lift and lower your body at the same speed. Give me four more here. Use your legs if you need to. Three. Two, one more. Good. Stand up, shake out the shoulders. Let's pick the dumbbells up. We're gonna go right back into our lateral raise. This time we're gonna lift them both at the same time. I want you to touch your body 15 degrees, arms to your side, shoulders down and lift together. Good, now I want you to stand upright and press. Good, tilt forward, lift, upright and press. Good, now we're working the outside of the shoulder and the front of the shoulder. That's it. Notice I lift and lower the weight at the same speed. You don't wanna let the weights fall. You wanna get the positive and the negative part of the movement. That's it. Keep those abs tight. Exhale as you press. Exhale. And exhale. Shoulders are heated up, I know. Good. Let's work. Give me two more of these. Last one. Raise. And here we go, press. Good, keep those dumbbells, let's sit down. On the edge, let's go back 45 degrees again. Abs tight, this time let the elbows fall back. I want you to open the hands up and curl. Good. Having our wrists open in this position, now we're working more in the middle of the bicep. We're still in the lengthened position, which is something you might not be used to, that's a good thing. Other ways you can change your workout by doing the same exercises, you can change the weight 
You can change the speed at which you move the weight or the rest time you take in between sets. Good. Feel it burn. That's it. Give me six more. Six. Five. Yes. Four. Three. Come on. Two. And one. Good guys. Set this down. We're going to take it into a dip. Now this time, I want you to put your feet on the chair opposite of you. Okay, so now our legs are taken out of the picture. So we're gonna take this down and press. Once again, I want the elbows in, shoulders back. Press, good. So we're just adding weight to our triceps. Makes it harder. That's it. Give me six more of these. Five, four, three, two, one, bring the legs down. Give me six more from here. Come on, six, five, you got it. Four, three, two, and one, good. Stand up, shake out the shoulders. We're gonna go through one more time. Pick the dumbbells up. This time we're gonna combine the two movements. Feet slightly shoulder width, knees slightly bent. Lean forward, want you to go left, Right, together, stand upright and press. Let's combine them, here we go. One, two, together, and press. Good, exhale every time. Exhale when you lift. Exhale, exhale, and press. Give me two more of those. One, two, lift and press. One more time. Keep those shoulders down when you lift. Together and press. Good, sit back down. Hold the dumbbells, lean back. Abs tight, 45 degrees. This time I want you to keep your wrists neutral. Give me two curls, one, two. Now I want you to turn it out and give me two this way. Good, back to neutral, two, and open the hands, and two. If your shoulders start to get tired, go ahead and sit up and continue the movement from here. Give me two, and open, good. Good, six more of these, five, four, Three, two, last one, and good. Set one dumbbell down, keep one dumbbell. I want you to place the dumbbell right between the knees. Now from here, put the feet on the chair. Now what we're doing is we're adding 10 more pounds to our triceps. So let's take it down, I want six of these. Six, five, four, Three, good. Two, one, last one, come on. Good, now set the dumbbell on the floor. Now put your legs back up, give me six more. Six, five, good. Four, three, two, one more. Good, feet down, give me our last six, come on. Here we go guys, six, six, Five, four, three more, two more, one more, and stand up, good. Take a deep breath in, I want you to push the arms out toward the floor, I want you to tilt your head to the left, with your right arm I want you to reach out, I want you to feel a stretch in the neck and the trap, good, deep breath in, and exhale, again, deep breath in, Long exhale out. Good, let's take it the other way. Tilt the head, reach down to the floor, and deep breath in. Exhale and reach, reach. Good, feel this stretch here. 
good again. Deep breath in and exhale. Reach. Good. Let's take it to the middle now. Both arms out. Bring your chest and chin together and exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Good. That's your 20 minute upper body workout. My name is Marco. Join me again in Exercise TV. New workouts are added every month. Download and work out today at exercisetv.tv/studio.